The very first few days afterwards, it was a very surreal feeling. It was like this didn't happen. We're going to wake up very soon and realize this has just been a very, very bad dream. It was basically a normal day. Um, we, we got up um, to the sound of our alarm at about 6 o'clock in the morning. To, uh, that's a normal time we got up to get the kids going. Um, my wife always gets out of bed before I do. I came walking across the house as usual and uh, the bathroom light was on, which did happen occasionally that, you know, that she got up before me. The door was cracked a little bit, so I pushed the door open. It was shortly after she got up that I heard some pretty loud screaming. Um, oh my God! So I came out around the corner and looked into the bathroom and uh, Jennifer was laying there on the floor. It looked to me like she hadn't fallen down. It looked to me like she had laid herself down. She wasn't feeling well or whatever and laid down on the floor. Um, it was obvious at that point to me that she was not with us anymore. It is quite, a, quite an experience to deal with. I mean, it's not, it's not easy, that's for sure. It's definitely not easy. You know, and then for the rest of my life, I think, where would Jennifer be now? What kind of family would she have? What is she missed? Most people don't think that over-the-counter drugs are a problem for the very reason that they're over-the-counter. You can buy them, no questions asked. Everyone assumes that they're legal, that they're safe. Otherwise, they wouldn't sell them in pharmacies and drugstores and supermarkets. We talk to teens about alcohol. We talk to teens about illicit drugs. But we never talk about over-the-counter drugs as being dangerous. It feels somehow more innocent because it is something that, you know, you're like, oh, it's in cough syrup, it's in Robitussin, it's in all these other things that, you know, everybody takes that you give to your kids. Very common, over the counter, go down the aisle and pick it up and there you go. You don't need a prescription, you don't need to be a certain age, you can buy them by the caseful and take them as you wish. It's easy to believe that it's safe, but the reality is that any drug or medication that is misused and abused can have very serious medical and psychological consequences. It really ruled my life for a long time. I was, I was even, you know, stealing money to try and buy more from friends, things like that. It was just ridiculous. I was, I was completely lost. Typically what fuels the abuse is the low self-esteem, the desire to try to achieve a different feeling state and this is what results in the downward spiral of the addiction. Oh, I was definitely addicted. I couldn't pass a drugstore without going in. 